Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy English. In this video, we are going to study the 10 uses of the simple present tense. So this video will be useful for those who have studied the structures of the simple present tense. If you have not studied it, please refer to it and study the structure of the simple present tense. When you are ready, let's go. This is the first use of the simple present tense to represent general truths or universal truth. So the simple present tense can be used to talk about general truths. An exa example is given, honey is sweet. So that's a general truth or universal truth on which everybody will agree on. The sun rises in the east. Cats drink milk. So three examples are given. So you know these are unanimously approved. So everybody will agree on it. So this is the very first use of the simple present tense. Well, the second use in exclamatory sentences beginning with here or there. The simple present tense is used in exclamatory sentences beginning with here and there to express what is actually happening in the present. Here comes the bus. So instead of saying the same idea in the present continuous tense like here but the bus is coming, you can use the simple present tense. Here comes the bus. The goes your husband. In fact, the action is going on right now. Here goes the bell. Okay, let's move on to the next. Future events that are part of a timetable. The simple present tense is used to talk about future events that are part of a fixed timetable. For examples are given. The train leaves at 6 p.m. So that's a part of the timetable. The match starts at 9 o'clock. That's been fixed. Well, then the next flight is at 6.30 tomorrow morning. We have English on Tuesdays and Friday. So once again, the third use of the symbol per sentence is in future events that are part of a timetable. The fourth use, to introduce quotations. An example is given, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. The sentence is in the simple present sentence. It's a famous quotation by John Keats. The fifth use, in type 1 conditional clause. You know, to understand this idea fully, we have to study the conditional clauses. I will call you when dinner is ready. So, so you are not supposed to say, I will call you when dinner will be ready. That will be wrong. I will go abroad after I finish my studies. Again, you are not to say, uh, I will go abroad after I will finish my studies. So the fifth use of the simple present tense is in type 1 conditional clauses or probable type, probable conditional clause. The sixth use in broadcast commentaries. In broadcast commentaries on sporting events, the simple present tense is used instead of the present continuous tense to talk about activities in progress. We know that the activities in progress, we usually know uh, we usually use the present continuous tense to represent such actions, but in broadcast commentaries, they often use the simple present tense. Like an example is given here: Ronaldo takes the ball, he runs down the wing, and he scores. See, this is simple present tense instead of present continuous tense is used. The seventh use in instructions, like open your books. At page 34. Don't shout at me. So commands. We can see 
simple plus sentence is used. The eighth use to denote habits. He plays cricket every weekend. I drink milk. She gets up early every day. The use nine in newspaper headlines. Kohli hits another century. France wins the World Cup. The reason why in newspaper headlines we use the simple person is though the action is over we use the simple presentence just because in order to have the effect on the readers when we read the newspaper headlines like uh, France won the World Cup we read we think that something which happened earlier so there's nothing uh, new to it but when we see headlines in the simple presentence we get that vigor we get that freshness so we are tempted to read the news basically that is the uh, uh, that is behind why in newspaper headlines we use the simple presentence. The last use to narrate a story or an incident. The same, this is say, uh, you know, why we use um, the simple presentence in newspaper headlines. The same re reason goes here. Like to have that effect, we use the pres uh, present simple or the simple present in this use like to narrate a story or an incident an example is given the man goes to his psychiatrist and says nobody listens to me the doctor says next the simple precedence is used though it's an over action or it's a story just to have the effect on the reader just to have that freshness on the readers These are the 10 use of the simple presentence. Hope you understood it and enjoyed it. And if you love this video, please click on the like button and comment and share and subscribe the channel Easy English to get more useful English videos. And thank you for watching.